welcome to the vintage girl next door my name is Lacey and today we are going to do a little project I am going to make a little mantelpiece using these bubble lights so first of all you need some wrapping paper tubes cardboard tubes you'll want to measure the length of your mantle and how big you want this to be and I've done that so I've got my two tubes and then I am now measuring out where I want to put the lights so you can space them as far apart as you want mine have quite a bit of cord between each light and so um, I'm short shortening it from what cord there is available so I'm doing every five and a half inches but it is totally up to you and how close you want the lights to be together and how much surface you've got to cover so then I am cutting the tube down the middle in a straight line so we're making that cut all the way down and then you can see here's my lights I've taken the bulbs off because it's a lot easier to work with that way and then wherever I've made my mark every five and a half inches I am cutting out a little slot little circle so that the base of the light will fit through and so I'm just gonna go through with my scissors and cut all of the little circles out down the length of both of the tubes Okay, that's how it's going to fit in and I'm going to do that to all of the marks so that I have a hole everywhere I want a light. I was careful enough to cut it big enough so that the light could fit through but small enough so that it was tight and still was holding it so that it would hold it upright. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I put it in. So wherever there's extra cord, I'm just kind of doubling it over and sticking it down in to the tube. There you see they are all in the tube and now I'm just taking some tape and I'm going to secure that closed in between each light and I would recommend using like probably brown masking tape <laughs> maybe not bright blue but that's all I could find at the moment and so that's what we're going with. And then if any of the light bulbs aren't sitting straight, you can adjust the hole a little bit accordingly. And then I'm just gonna do the exact same thing to the other tube. Okay, once you've got the other one done, then you can put the lights back on. So I'm just screwing those bulbs back in where they go and alternating the colors. perfect okay and now I am taking some garland and wrapping it around the tube to hide the tube and to hide the tape and you could totally use like silver tinsel that would be really pretty um, I'm using this white snowy kind because that's what I had left over from decorating 
um, but you can totally use any color that you like. In fact, a thicker like silver or pink or something would probably be better than this because it would hide the tube a little bit better, but just, just working with what I got here. So we're just gonna wrap that around until our tube is totally covered. And if you have enough to do two layers, that uh, looks the best. So I, w I took the left over and wrapped it again so that I had a couple layers on the tube. Okay, just cut that off and just glue the end and then wrap the other tube the exact same way. Cool, so now I've got both tubes wrapped and I am taking my winter garland. I got this at Joann's and this one I'm using kind of as the base for the tube so that it will hold it flat and sit kind of level and not roll around on the mantle. And so I'm actually setting the tube on top of it and then I'm wrapping some of the branches around and getting that secure. take a little bit fluffier of a green garland and I'm going to use that on the top and I just kept it on the top and then I just zigzagged like kind of wove it in and out of each light and then kind of fluffed it and bent it to look nice as I went along. kind of cover anywhere that needs to be covered and just bend it so that it will stay on there. And you could totally add spray snow or glitter or anything that you like to it. I preferred kind of a more traditional look so I left it green and I'm adding some cinnamon pine cones also from Joann's. So that makes it smell nice and look nice. And this is my finished decoration. So yeah, I love my bubble lights. I don't put them on my tree because I have a tinsel tree with a color wheel and it just seems like they needed to go somewhere else. And so this is what I came up with and I'm really happy with it. I love the way that the bubble lights look and I'm happy that I was able to make something to go on my mantle that looks nice and vintage. Thanks so much for watching. I sure hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a merry, merry Christmas and happy holiday season.